Hi, my name is Mike DiCecco, uh, Sales and Tech Support for General Air Products. Uh, this morning we are going to demonstrate how to rewire a single phase motor from low voltage to high voltage. Uh, one thing I just want to uh, let you know is that all of our motors and compressors are uh, pre-wired and inspected before they leave the factory. So uh, the first thing we want to do is verify what voltage we have run into the compressor and that, that will be determined on this site. In this case this motor is wired 115 volt however we have 208 volt running to it which is high voltage. So now we're going to demonstrate what steps to take to change this motor from low voltage 115 to 208 volt high voltage. First thing we want to do is make sure that the power supply is cut off from the air compressor. The other thing we want to check is each compressor, like I said, is pre-wired from the factory and that voltage, what it's wired for, is located on the pressure switch cover on the unit. So just make sure what voltage this is wired for and then in this case we have 208 volt on site so we're going to rewire this motor for the high voltage. So after we verify the voltage run into the unit and also cut the power off, uh, the next step is we want to get our wiring di diagram together. Um, each motor has a wiring diagram right on itself. Or well, our webpage, generalairproducts.com, has all the wiring diagrams for every air compressor we make. So you can download it off the website before you leave, or we even have the uh, the QR label on here that you can access our uh, website if you're on the site, on the job site. So here we have the motor plate cover off and exposing the internal wires of the air compressor. So we have two wires coming from the, or three wires coming from the pressure switch. We have a hot, neutral, and a ground wire. They're already uh, wired in. So now I'm going to inspect each wire, take the wire nuts off, and just make sure the wires aren't kinked or damaged. So after we have our wires uh, separated and inspected to make sure none of the outer coating is damaged or none of the wires are kinked, we follow our directions that we downloaded or the directions off the motor plate. So in this case, again, we have two wires running from our pressure switch, including the ground into the motor. On our diagram, they're marked line one and line two. So the first step for high voltage, we're connected line one from the switch to the wire in the motor marked P1. So line one to P1. The next step is P2 wire in the motor is to be capped off by itself. Two, three wires left in the motor and they are to be tied in with the line two which is the second line from our pressure switch. Okay, so after following the diagram we have all the wires in place. It is now wired for high voltage 208 put the wires back into the doghouse of the motor put our plate back on so now the plate's back on we're ready to put power back to the unit make sure our connections and our pressure switch are tight and turn the power back on we'll be ready to go uh, one thing I want to stress though is anytime you have any questions feel free to call our 800 number uh, we're always there um, and for any technical support uh, helping wire motors anything that you need well, I want to thank you for your time today I uh, just wanted you guys to keep in mind too that we have a uh, training facility in Exton PA uh, we're located right outside of Philadelphia we're a short drive from New York City Baltimore Washington DC so if you're ever in the area you know, you can come in and stop by, or if you want to set up a training session with one or, or 15 people, that's fine too. Uh, you can set an appointment at, with our customer service at 
345-8207 or go online and you can uh, register there. Uh, it's a pretty nice facility. We have six live dry valves. We have our nitrogen generator, our dry air packs, and all of our compressors in here. So any type of training you might be interested, we could probably help you out. Thank you.